In this video, I will show you a drill that is useful whatever skill level you have. The drill I'm showing you today is not aimed to train a particular part of your game, but it's very useful for players at any skill level to check their personal development, because you will have a clear number that you can try to beat. For example, like your highest run in straight pool. So what do you have to do? Play the balls in order from one side to the other and don't touch any ball except the object ball. If you pocketed all 15 balls, they are respotted and the cue ball stays at the current position. Now you have to go the other way, make all 15 balls and repeat. So this drill will give you a clear number of how many balls you can make in a row. I'm doing this drill from time to time just to check my personal development and skill. For example, 4 years ago I was only able to play maybe 10 to 15 balls. Two years later, I was able to play maybe a 30 to 40, and nowadays I'm able to play a 60 or higher. So this video is from 2016. I didn't play this drill for a long time, but if you wish to see me playing the drill, just comment and I will make a video for you guys. So it's an older video, and to be honest, it's a pretty wild attempt, nothing near to textbook pool. But I decided to still upload it, because there are a lot of shots where I have to try something different. And maybe you could learn more from that kind of shots than from textbook shots. Again, if you want to see me doing it nowadays, just comment. So far everything was pretty normal, maybe I was a little too close to the rail. But here comes the first tricky shot. I just have to make the free ball into the side pocket and go three rails with the cue ball towards the next ball. Going towards the next ball is a very important um, thing in your whole positional game. I made a lesson for that, I will give you the link at the end of this video. So yeah, just a stun shot, again I'm on the wrong side. And um, What I'm doing now is I'm gonna play it with inside spin as you see from um, the short rail right now. Um, I could have gone also with left spin, yeah, would have been the same shot just into the other corner pocket in this case. Again I came a little too short. I could maybe follow really soft with follow and right spin, but I decided it's getting dangerous with the side pocket, so I go um, low left with three rails, and you see now I'm again going towards the next ball. So this is the perfect line in this case. Here I'm not really sure what I wanted to do. Nowadays I would just have used the tangent line and play a stun shot and no rail for a position, but um, two years back I tried to go into the rail. Turns out wasn't that good of an idea, but um, yeah, still managed to get in line again. Yeah, there are so many shots that I will play totally different nowadays, but this example sums up the whole idea behind this drill. Because your game, especially in the early years when you started playing pool to now, changes so much, yeah, your stroke changes, your technique changes, your mindset changes, the patterns you play are different, you see other patterns, you see better patterns, you see better ways to go, your game is just completely different compared to 3 or 4 years ago. Of course, if you're playing um, 40 years of pool and now you're playing 42 years, your game won't change that much, unless you're really working hard on your weaknesses. And that's another factor, another main factor, whether you're getting better or not. If you're just playing and just having fun and always do the same, always make the same mistakes, you won't develop because you have to train your weaknesses. If you're always doing the same thing over and over again, you won't develop. Because imagine there are certain shots you're very good at, you're making 9 out of 10 shots, that means you have a 90% chance of making this ball. Then there comes a shot up where you only make 5 out of 10 balls. That means there is a 50% chance that you are missing this ball. That also means every second time you have to play this shot, you will miss. And that means that's a weakness and you have to train that weakness. And if you're getting better and better, you're making 6 out of 10, 7, 8, 9 out of 10, and then you have a much higher chance to be successful. And that's how you develop your whole game. Well, let's go back to the actual video. 
As you saw, yes, it was pretty wild. Nothing was textbook. And yeah, that's the whole point. This video is two years old. And I guess I will make um, a video maybe next week to show you the difference. To show you how my game, my stroke, um, my appearance at the table changed in that two years. You have to say, I really did a lot of training and I'm not playing that long. Yeah, six years is a long time, but we all know how tough it is to learn a Q sport and how many things you have to train to get better and better at this game. So guys, that's it for today. Um, let me know how many balls you are able to make in this drill. Yeah, I'm really curious and I will give you the link to my new try at the end of this video. You will see the link at maybe in one or two weeks. And the other video that I will give you at the end is the run towards the next ball lesson. Yeah, also very useful video. And yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and comment. Check out my Patreon if you want to support my work. There's also some stuff for people that are more interested than just my videos. And that's it for today. Take care. See you at the next lesson.